there's a lot of different EV startups or older companies that are announcing they're making EV pickup trucks and that kind of thing. But Lordstown Motors is a bit of an interesting one. They haven't released any vehicle to the public yet, but if they do end up actually staying true to their word, it should be a fairly interesting release because they recently purchased a factory from GM last year. So they already have a facility and staff. They just have to retrofit the inside of this facility to be able to produce the electric pickup truck that they've been working on for a few years that they're calling the Endurance. And this Lordstown company was founded just a couple years ago by a man named Steve Burns, who formerly founded a company called Workhorse, who is known for developing a few types of electric vehicles, including UPS delivery trucks. And while these EVs were very low in number and they didn't have insane range, he has experience with actually making vehicles and delivering them to people. And they did do a reverse merger recently and actually went public. And I'm not always a big fan of that. And this is not a finance video. I'm no financial expert. I'm not giving anyone advice on whether or not you should invest in the stock. I mean, personally, I wouldn't just because they're so new and so unproven yet. But if the specs that they're promising end up coming true, I think this should be a very interesting debut. The thing that separates Lordstown apart from most other EV trucks, aside from the Cybertruck, of course, is that they're actually starting off with a somewhat affordable pickup instead of most companies wanting to start off in the six-figure department with either a you know $100,000 Rivian R1T or a $100,000 electric Hummer or who knows what the Nikola Badger would have costed, but we're never going to see that. Either way, the Endurance is supposed to start at a little bit over $52,000 and have a range of around 250 miles. So again, nothing insane, but I still think worth mentioning if you consider, unlike other companies, they actually have a working prototype. Lordstown has demonstrated this vehicle is operational and something that's a bit unique to it is it has these hub motors. So it has four motors in total that all sit within the wheels themselves. And this allows for great traction control, great torque, 600 horsepower, zero to 60 in five and a half seconds. And while the 250 mile range is not insane, if you consider the fact that most EV pickup trucks are rarely near the $52,000 segment, unless of course we're talking Cybertruck, but when it comes to electric pickups besides the Cybertruck, especially if you're one who hates the Cybertruck design, you want a more traditional looking EV pickup. The Endurance seems to be pretty dang close. I'm sure it's a bit more expensive than the single motor Cybertruck, but Lordstown is claiming that they want to start deliveries of the Endurance at the midway point of next year, though I do have to sadly say I don't think the word means very much when it comes to the timeline because initially they were saying the Endurance was going to come out at the end of 2020. Now it's been delayed till 2021 and the workhorse company was also promising their electric pickup truck would come to market back in 2018 and 2019 and it seems like there's a common track record with at least some of the higher level chairmen at this company to say something's going to be ready and then it doesn't end up being ready and of course we're all kind of still coping with the Nikola vibes we got of the please reserve a badger now and also buy our stock because Nikola stock is really going to take up and I kind of hate that I know that a lot of EV startups need capital and it's very very expensive to build out an electric vehicle mass production line so I get why they want to go public but at the same time, it's always just kind of awkward and icky when you haven't made a product that people can buy yet and yet you're asking people to buy into the company and saying that this is going to be the next Tesla and the stock's going to soar because EVs are the future. You know, lots of people trying to get in on that Tesla bubble that we've seen in the stock market. So I'm not a big fan of the reverse merger type things, but because they have a working prototype, okay, this is not just Photoshop, this is not just CGI renders, which major companies like GM have been known to do with the EV. Hummer, I feel like Lordstown doesn't get enough credit because they actually have built something that's operational and works and they plan on making their first vehicle a somewhat affordable one. Now, the factory they bought is not going to be capable of producing vehicles at the insane scale that something like Giga Texas is, but if it's true that they're able to produce this vehicle by some time in 2021, it's very possible the Endurance could beat the Cybertruck to market and definitely go head-to-head -head with the Rivian if they're able to offer a pickup truck that can go 250 miles and only cost $50,000, that's close to twenty dollars or $30,000 cheaper than what Rivian has to offer. It may be slightly less practical, and I've also seen Lordstown not talk too much about their autonomous driving systems and how that's going to work, so they may be lacking in some tech that Rivian and Tesla have, but I think the pickup truck market is a very, very big one. There's lots of room for everyone. It's not just going to be only the Cybertruck, because there's definitely people that are not going to be a fan of the design and will never buy it no matter 
how cheap or how good the range is. And having traditional pickup truck options out there for people who want to switch to electric but don't want to be in a Blade Runner movie, having something like the Lordstown Endurance would be amazing. And I really hope they can actually deliver on it. I'm very curious though how tire changing works with hub motors. You get a flat on that, does that mean you have to take the whole tire off the car? I'm not sure. I'm very sure though a spare tire would not work as easily as it does with traditional pickup trucks. But either way, I just feel like Lordstown, while they may have a bumpy track record when it comes to the timeline, they do have a facility, they do have a working prototype, and fairly promising specs that I think could be very competitive in the market, which is why I'm gonna keep my eye on them. And I'm not saying 100% I believe in them and they're totally gonna reach their deadlines, because I'll be honest, the past few years they keep pushing it off another year, another year. So it's very plausible at the same time that they could be bluffing once again and just hoping people buy into the stock and maybe the Endurance will never actually launch. I totally see that as a possibility, but hadn't made a video about them, hadn't seen that many people talking about them. Could end up being a big fraudulent scam, but I'm leaning on the hopeful side of my brain that not everybody can be as scammy as Nicola. So let's hope that Lordstown can stick to the timeline and let's hope that we can get some $50,000 electric pickup trucks with some cool features out in the market Market because Cybertruck can't carry the entire pickup truck market on its own, right? Maybe it can. We'll see. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the Lordstown Endurance. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.